Okay, what we have here is a magnetic experiment. Uh, <clears throat> we're doing a half wave DC pulse, 60 cycles, into this torrid transformer. We've got 153 windings on one side of the coil, 148 on the other. It's uh, 164 millihenries on the 153 turn, 114 millihenries on the 148 turn. <clears throat> what we're going to do? This is the uh, this is the input. This is the output. We also have a light bulb right here. You can see this light bulb. It's under. It's loading the output of that transformer at 1.92 volts. In fact, we'll turn it up a little bit here. We just do two volts. See if we can get two volts with it. Nah, it's hard to do two volts. That seems to be the sweet spot right there. Anyhow, this is the amperage that it's drawing. 5.38 amps AC at three volts. That's what, 18, some 18, a little over 18 watts. What we're going to do, we're going to take, this is a neodymium magnet. I believe it's two and a half inches by a quarter inch thick. And we're going to put it on the magnet, or the uh, core, and we're going to watch the, the meters, see what, how it affects. We're basically we're trying to prove that this thing interferes with the magnetic flux, makes it better or worse. It depends on the way you put the magnet on here. It's going to make it better or worse. That actually made it a little worse. It depends on where you put this thing. I made it a lot worse right there. Depend on the north and south and depend on where you have it in relationship to this uh, coil right here. Now you're going to notice the amperage was higher, five something. So this went down. The input went down, so it's under load. The output went down. But the uh, amperage also went down. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pull off this magnet. And you see the amperage went up. We're going to turn it around the other way and we'll position it to a certain spot. And you're going to see the voltage is going to increase. So the output is greater than the input. Plus the amperage went down. So see if we can get all three of these in here one time. So we're going to take this magnet. We removed it. So the amperage went up just a little bit. But the uh, voltage went down on the output. Voltage went down the input. So we try it again. So we actually, looks like we got a load here. The output went up. The amperage, let's see what the amperage does. We're going to take it off right now. Okay. The amperage went down, so it's it's drawing less amps. That went down. This one went up. So if you do the math, you can see what's going on here. Now we're going to take another magnet, which is this is a uh, ceramic magnet. It's actually a microwave oven, the magnetron. Now if we have the same magnet uh, of the neodymium, put it next to that one. It doesn't get any better. So we're, we actually have different magnets here. And we're running these magnets close to each other here. And we're going to rotate it around. We've gotten almost four volts out of this before. I don't know where you, there it is, where you have it rotated. Okay. The amperage went way down about an amp less. Voltage went way up. This went way up. Okay, so this is what we got going on here. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll watch how you separate these things. You're going to see the amperage is going to go increased. Almost, what, almost an amp? Almost one amp more. Almost three watts, because you're doing three, a little three, almost three watts less when you position these things right. We're going to lock this in again here, 
and we're going to take the magnets and we're going to remove them, both of them. Okay? So we do the math, see if that thing is getting close to over unity or is over unity. Again, this is a half wave. In fact, you can see it right here in this power supply we, we built. It's on half wave DC. And this is the, uh, that's the reading right there on the scope. You see the scope, it actually go up a little bit when you're putting these magnets on. So, there you have it.